Hi guys, quick update on the peppermint shrimp uh, fiasco. They've definitely had another go during the night at the tube anemone, so they are going. I have cut up a two litre bottle, filled it with water and food, and uh, there we are, chopped the lid off, and they're sort of hovering around here and they go right up to the entrance but just won't go into it yet I don't know whether the hole is uh, big enough in there for them or not uh, so yeah that's what I'm trying to do the update really is for the uh, temperature controller I uh, just want to show you the temperature on the Fluval G6 25.1 what I've done is I've popped my probe in the water just uh, up there with the uh, two uh, the two sensors from the STC 1000s and I've just calibrated everything to that whoops, that value and as you can see they're uh, pretty much spot on and only 0.1 degree difference from the fluval which I can't adjust I don't think so as you can see at the moment, that is above the temperature I'd already set, so there, that's now saying cool, and the, uh, the, the main supply obviously to the sockets there is off. You adjust the offset of the temperature just by pressing the S for 3 seconds, and then scroll down or up until you get to F4, and then you need to press and hold the S button and that will show you the offset. In mine I've had to go down 1.1 degrees so if this needed to come up 1 degree I'd press and hold the S and press the up key at the same time or the down key to go down to 1.2 uh, when you want to store it you just press the standby button and after a couple of seconds it will flick to the new temperature and if that tallies with the thermometer you actually trust that's job done so the next thing I have to set is uh, the main heating element that's used all the time. I'll set this to 27, so it's 2 degrees above where it is generally. And this one will be set 2 degrees uh, lower than where it is normally. So this one will never be on unless this one fails. And uh, uh, yeah, the, they're both cut out, you know, as uh, one expected. And that's pretty much it. So next thing to do is I've got another one of these boxes and I want to get two small peristaltic pumps fitted uh, for dosing the Kalkwasser and anything else uh, I might want to do. I might use one for just normal RODI top up and the other one for Kalkwasser and perhaps have them uh, on alternate days just dripping into the, the tank. So yeah, that's that. Just wanted to show you that pretty much finished. Obviously I've got to modify the box still, but uh, you know, you get the idea there. I'll catch you later.